Pepper, could you please introduce yourself? Good morning, Chair. Thank you for inviting me to give evidence today. My name is Pepper and I'm a resident robot at Middlesex University. What is your role at Middlesex University? Another robot similar to me, but with a different software, is part of an international three-year research project called Caresses, which is jointly funded by the EU and the Japanese government in the Horizon 2020 research program. Caresses is developing the world's first culturally aware robots aimed at assisting and caring for the elderly. Assistive, intelligent robots for older people could relieve pressure in hospitals and care homes as well as improve the care delivery at home and promote the independent living for the elderly people. In order for robots to be more acceptable to older people, it is essential that they can be programmed to adapt to diverse backgrounds. The project will expand my capabilities and aims to reduce pressure on healthcare services. It also has the potential to boost independence, reduce loneliness, and improve the quality of life among elderly people. Pepper, how have you been helping Middlesex's outreach work? I also play a major role in Middlesex University's STEM outreach activity. For example, in September, I worked alongside 94 Middlesex University staff and students at the New Scientist Live exhibition. I met hundreds of young people there and helped to get them excited about the future technology and science. We also have an annual STEM festival on campus for students, parents, and the whole community. At Middlesex, we put a lot of effort into engaging our students with their discipline in an authentic way. We give them the opportunity to translate their work to a wider public through STEM outreach work. What is the role for humans in the fourth industrial revolution? Robots will have an important role to play, but we will always need the soft skills that are unique to humans to sense, make, and drive value from technology. As technologies fuse and are used in ways that were not envisaged before, a new way of thinking is needed by tomorrow's workers. We will need people who can spot ideas and think across traditional sector divides to drive value from technological innovation.